Sketching out some kind of groovy underpants, eh? What do you reckon of them? I think I could pull them off. So uh, we're just about to cut some more gussets. I couldn't remember the name for what these are called. Some more gussets for uh, the second table that's going into the pub. Uh, the two matching identical tables. You know the one that I made the other day. The framework's over here, look. So you can sort of see how the gusset's gonna fit on tour. And then I've also been busy making the framework for a load of square tables, which will all sit on their own. And the base for these, instead of being legs, it's gonna be a big piece of six inch square solid steel. And it's straight down like a pillar table, if you like. I think it's gonna look pretty freaking awesome. Mm. Just enjoying Pale Ale Brambling Cross by none other than the Colonel London Brewery. You might think, Jesus Christ, he's starting early today. It's five to five, folks. Come on, give me a break. So I thought uh, I'd just do a piece to camera before we got too far into the day, which is. Uh, what I seem to have been doing over the past few videos and it seems like it is uh, it's a system that's working. It's easier for me to edit this way because I don't have to edit out all the rambling and uh, you get to see the action I've done in the day. I mean there's only so much I can talk about when it comes to welding bits of metal together. I think you're better off obviously watching me do it as opposed to uh, me telling you what I've done. One more thing I did want to mention though um, I was chatting to Robbie last night on Facebook, Robbie Williams, no not that one, the guy who came down to help us with the uh, cellar fit out, and uh, he wants to come back again and uh, pay another visit, and I really want some uh, way of thanking him, and I don't know what, I don't know any other better way, quite frankly, than to shout him out and send all you guys 
over to his channel and check out what Robbie does. Uh, he's the man to tune into if you want some waffle. <laughs> So I've put a link directly below in the description, it's the very first thing there. Just click on that, it'll take you over to Robbie's channel. Give him a sub, watch a few of his back videos uh, and see what you think. I reckon he's a stand-up bloke, he really is. So I'm going to crack on a little bit more with this. Uh, I'm going to try cutting these underpants out with a plasma cutter this time instead of the shears. I bought the shears specifically to do this and uh, well, they don't like corners very much. So I might do the straight bits with the shears and then flick over onto the plasma and uh, cut out the semicircles with the plasma. That way you get to see some shear action and some plasma action. Best of both worlds. <laughs>
Well, it's another one in the bag. Just got to sort out a piece of timber for it. The welds look good. I've also got to spray and finish all these tabletops, or the framework anyway. So, if I can do that in between brewing tomorrow, that's something that I will, wrong way, that's something that I will try and do. Uh, but brewing's gonna come first, of course. And all I really need to do in here is paint on a little bit of that copper sulfate, let it dry, and then clear coat. So I could probably do that outside without getting too messy. Uh, and of course, putting the batch of beer at risk. So we'll wrap it up for today. I'm gonna shoot home, get showered. I'm going home filthy these days. And uh, we'll pick it up tomorrow. We'll see you then. The thought of you.